Hey, hey, good morning. All right, so John says, at Rampant Design, I'm trying to use your Edit Essential Transition number 56. I'd like to have one video be the black and one be brushed over it. Is that possible? I've tried all the blend modes and haven't really gotten anywhere. Thank you. Hey, thanks for your question, John. I'm gonna go ahead and answer this in Premiere Pro. Now, if you're using something else, please let us know and we'll find someone to give to show you this example in your favorite editor. Okay, so I'm in Adobe Premiere Pro and I've got a quick edit. I'm going from this shot right here to this shot. And we're using number 56, the, the transition number 56 from Edit Essentials, which looks like this. So it just goes and just hand paints it on, right? Cool. So John, what you need is a track mat, not a blend mode. So basically you want it to do this right here. Like that, right? So what we need to do is use a track mat. So once you have your edit uh, completed here, like here, boom, boom, just go ahead and go under effects and search track mat like so, and drop it on the shot you're going to, so your second shot, video number two here, and as you can see, nothing else is different, so now we need to go ahead and put our track mat above it, so find your number 56, and just drag it right on top of shot number two, boom, boom, okay? So now highlight shot two and hit shift five to go to your effect controls, and right here under track mat key, you're gonna wanna just tell it, hey, where is the mat? And it's in video layer four, and that's it. Just roll it back, and it's like, mm -mm -mm -mm. There you go. That's simple. So I'll show you one more time. You have your video layer one here, like so, and video layer two here, like so. And when you're doing the track mat, make sure to align the track mat with the shot you're going to. So I'm, that's number two. We're going from shot one to shot two. So let's go ahead and just drag our essentials transition right on top of shot two, like so. And you'll look like this, right? So it's like, well, how do I fix that? Very simple. Remember, you just go for the track mat, so under effects. Track mat key, drag it on to your number two there. And over here in effect controls, make sure you're, you're setting your uh, mat alpha or mat luma. In this case, it's alpha. And then your mat layer, wherever your layer happens to be, let's just put it somewhere else so it's not the same as last time. We'll just move it way up here. Let's just say it's on layer seven. So right here on video layer two, just say, hey, my mat's on layer seven. And bam, you've got yourself a custom transition. There you go. Thanks so much for writing, John. I hope that helps. If that's not your question or if you're using a different uh, editing software, please let us know and we will create a quick tutorial uh, showing you what to do. Do you have a question about how to use a rampant effect? Head on over to rampantdesign.community and go to ask a question under get support. And then right here, click ask a question and add a video, add a photo, and then write your description, hit post, and we'll go ahead and try to make a tutorial for you. Once again, I'm Sean Mullen from rampantdesigntools.com. Thanks for watching.